NASA never ceases to amaze us. Now it's planning to start a huge fire in space. Researchers are sending a cargo spacecraft to the International Space Station on a resupply mission in May. But once it drops off that cargo, the ISS will release the craft called Cygnus back into space. Then NASA will light a fire. Yes, this is all for scientists to see how fire reacts in zero gravity. It sounds like the best science experiment ever. What could go wrong, right? Joining us from Philadelphia is Chief Astronomer of the Franklin Institute, Derek Pitts. Okay, so break this down for us. I've been looking forward to this conversation because, you know, when you, sound, when you hear about it, it sounds like perhaps not the best idea, but of course, the people at NASA are very smart. How important, Derek, is this experiment to further space exploration? Well, fire on board a spacecraft is one of the greatest fears that astronauts have. We have to keep in mind that if there's a fire on board a spacecraft, they can't go outside, they can't open the windows, they can't call the fire department, they can't use water to extinguish the flames. So they have to resort to all sorts of other methods to suppress flame. And in zero gravity, almost everything behaves differently, including flame. So it's best to be able to understand how flame behaves and what are the best ways to extinguish a flame in zero G. Are there any clues about how fire and flames will behave in zero gravity? I mean, do we have any other kind of data? Oh yes, we do have some idea of how flames do behave in space. NASA has conducted experiments on board International Space Station uh, several times, but those are typically very, very, very small flames, you know, like smaller than the tip of your finger. And they observe what happens with those flames to understand how the combustion works and air flow and so on and so forth. But the only real experience they've had is that on the Russian, uh, the Soviet Mir space station a number of years ago in which there was a fire on board. Fortunately, the astronauts on board could control and extinguish the fire, but they had to use the air scrubbing system to pull all the smoke and the other pollutants out of the air. Again, couldn't use water, couldn't open a window. So there are some data points, but this experiment, a very, very, very controlled experiment, will provide more information. Yeah, so is this experiment something that uh, is going to be uh, in close proximity to any human beings? I mean, could this endanger anyone, uh, either you know, out in space or even on Earth? Yeah, that's a very important question. What's going to happen with this, actually, is that the spacecraft that's going to be used for this is a Cygnus resupply vessel. It will have taken a load of uh, supplies up to International Space Station. They'll be transferred to Space Station. And then this craft, which would normally be returned to Earth, filled with trash and then burned up on reentry, has a very small compartment, a small section that has the enclosed test article that will be tested to see how it burns. So it's not near humans. It will be four hours away from space station and on its way to a fiery destruction anyway. So on the way, NASA will make good use of something they will burn up and in a very small, compact, restricted environment, test to see how flame burns in space on a relatively large piece, actually. So it's about a foot wide and about three feet long, bigger than anything else that's ever been burned in space. So they hope that this will give good data about how things burn. Yeah, it'll be fascinating to see those results.